because they have seen the truth. Yes, thank you, Mataji. Okay, so and then finally we saw the goals of knowledge. And then we, we saw the boat, how even a most sinful person is seated properly on the boat, he can cross the ocean of the material miseries. And then we saw Haridas Taku. So what was the significance about Haridas Taku that we covered last week? I even a sent a refreshment hmm, post in our group recently. Significance of Haridas Taku. Remember the prostitute uh, was sent to deviate him, distract him. By, by hearing his chanting, what happened to the prostitute? She had a she had a change of heart. Okay. Yeah, so now moving on to chapter five. Arjuna continues to have doubt. Okay, so we have uh Jay Sita Animataji. Mataji, can unmute? Okay. All right. Bhagavad um, Gita, chapter 5, verse 1. Arjuna Vacha Sanya Sankarmana Krishna Puna Yogam Chas Hansasi Yakshreya Eta Kutta Sanya. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Okay. Arjuna said, O Sri Krishna. Um, hang on, let me, let me see this. Uh, Can you see Mataji? Uh, yeah, Arjuna, okay. Arjuna said, Oh Krishna, first of all, you ask me to renounce work, and then again, you recommend work with devotion. Now, will you kindly tell me definitely which of the two is more, more beneficial? Okay, thank you, Mataji. Okay, so if you can recall, this question is very similar to the question Arjuna asked in 3.1. Here, Krishna, um, Arjuna asked, do you want me, to, if you think intelligence is better than fruitive work, then why do you ask me to fight? Okay, because Krishna said, um, because, remember Arjuna was in the verge of uh, going to, you know, wants to renounce and go, he doesn't want to fight, but Krishna said, even if you are, if you renounce and the renunciation is artificial, then your mind will still dwell on a lot of uh, attachments that's happening around in Hastinapur. So instead of artificially renouncing, you should fight, but you should surrender the results to me. So in that way, working is better than renunciation. So it does not mean renunciation means it's not being inactive. Okay, so. This was the this was what we covered in chapter three. Arjuna start asking question: renunciation or work? Then, uh, then Krishna said, "Do not artificially renounce." Then what should I do? You should do niskama karma yoga. Work with detachment. Okay, with the knowledge you be detached from the results of the work. So in four point four one and four point four two, these are the last two slokas in chapter three. Okay, I read. One who acts in devotional service, renouncing the fruits of his actions, and whose doubts have been destroyed by transcendent knowledge, is situated factually in the self. He, that's, he is not bound by the reactions of work or conqueror of riches. So one who acts in devotional service, he is not bound by the reactions of work. So here Krishna establishes that devotional service release, so releases one from reactions of work. Then in 4.42, if you look at the last line, Krishna will say, oh, Bharata, stand and fight. He said, fight. Okay. Then Arjuna has doubt. Okay. So before that, I will just give you an overview of chapter 5. So the question continues. Arjuna will ask, should I renounce? You said, um, you said devotional service releases one from, uh, which means not acting in work, right? Attached to work it will release you from the reactions of work. And then later you say, fine, so which one I should do? Okay, later uh, Krishna will explain. 
okay work with detachment and then how to do this so this is like a spin off from the chapter three krishna is uh, giving more details on this okay so this this section we will not cover okay we will go to this one how to attain liberation okay and the last is how to attain peace on this path of platform of liberation okay remember arjuna is going to ask question renunciation or work with detachment which one is better renounce and go or work with detachment and how to do that how do we get liberated and how do we find peace okay so mataji already read this okay how to renounce that is question but same time work in devotion this is like a paradox two things you ask me to renounce and then you ask me to work so which one is this so that's why i say the question is similar to text 3.1 so krishna will answer arjuna's question and will explain the process of achieving liberation through karma yoga in greater depth uh, than chapter 3 okay so we move on to 5.2 kajai mataji hari krishna bhagavad gita chapter 5 sloka 2 Sri Bhagavan Uvacha Sanyasa Karma Yogascha Nishreyasa Karavubhav Tayostu Karma Sanyasa Karma Yogo Visishate The Personality of Godhead replied, The renunciation of work and work in devotion are both good for liberation, but of the two work in devotional service is better than renunciation of work thank you mataji so the uh, krishna replied both are good okay both are good renunciation of work is also good work in devotion also good not wrong but of the two work in devotional service is better okay why we will see later okay we move on to okay here uh um actually i just need to touch something on bhagavata but since we are not covering bhagavata in very detail level 2 so i want to bring in that verse now okay so in bhagavata uh, at canto 5 chapter 5 text 4 up to 6 it is mentioned that people are mad after sense gratification and they do not know that this present body which is full of miseries is a result of one's fruitive activities in the past Okay, so at this point of time, I'm sure at at the point now we are pretty convinced about that. Although this body is temporary, it is always giving one trouble in many ways. Okay, that's true. Therefore, to act for sense gratification, it is not it's not good. One is considered to be a failure in life as long he makes no inquiry about his real identity. This is what we saw in the introduction. as long as he does not know his real identity he has to work for fruitive results for sense gratification because we are not sure who are who are we so we continue work for sense gratification and as long as one is engrossed in the conscious consciousness of sense gratification one has to transmigrate from one body to another okay although the mind may be engrossed in fruitive activities and influenced by ignorance okay so we know all this is happening so what do we do what is the hope for us so dan says here although the mind may be engrossed in fruitive activities and influenced by ignorance one must develop a love for devotional service to vasudeva only then can one have the opportunity to get out of the bondage of material existence okay so therefore this is the knowledge that um, one is not this material body but spirit soul is just the beginning it is not everything it is not sufficient for liberation so here in chapter 5 krishna will say okay you know already body and soul is different okay so what do we do moving forward one has to act knowing that we are in the we are the spirit soul we have to act in the status of spirit soul otherwise there is no escape from material bondage so again just knowing that we are not the body but the soul is not sufficient for us to get out of the bondage of material existence you need to develop a love for devotion service why because you start inquiring why am i here okay we know who are we but we want to know why am i here where am i going what do i do so all these questions 
inquiry into the absolute. 5.6, Yashoda Mahi Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Okay, okay. 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 A thoughtful person engaged in the inner service can achieve the supreme without delay. Thank you, Mataji. Yeah, so Krishna is mentioning here, merely renouncing all activities is not sufficient. It will not make us happy. But a thoughtful person who engaged in devotion service can achieve the supreme without delay. So there are two types of renounced people here we can see. One is the sadhu. Remember the sadhu who was with a handphone and cigarette with kamandalu? All right, so that person is uh, depicted as a person who artificially re renounced, but the mind was engaged, dwelling on sense objects. Okay, but here you have devotees. They may be working. They may be students. They may be working. They are family people, but they are engaging in Sankirtan. This is a street Sankirtan. They go um, street to street chanting, loud chanting. Remember, Haridas Thakur uh, uh, started the loud chanting. Okay, so here it is mentioned here, merely renouncing all activities, not engaging, and yet not engaging in the devotion service of the Lord cannot make one happy. You, you cannot stop yourself from doing something. You have to transfer that attachment or transfer the activity to something else. Okay, it's because the nature of the soul is active. It has to be engaged. Okay. 5.8. Loka Ranjani Mataji is not here. Okay, now I will read. Naiva Kinchit Karo Meti Yukto Manyeta Tatva Vit Pasyan Shrivan Prashan Jigran Ashnan Gachan Svapan Svasan Pralapan Vishjan Krihnan Krihnan Unisam Nimishan Napi Indriyan Indriyarteshu Vartanta Ididharayan a person in the divine consciousness, although engaged in seeing, hearing, touching, smelling, eating, moving about, sleeping and breathing, always knows within himself that he actually does nothing at all. Okay, why? Because while speaking, evacuating, receiving or opening or closing his eyes, he always knows that Okay, he always knows that only the material senses are engaged with their objects and that he is aloof from them. So here you can see Prabhupada, he's a sadhu. Okay, he left India, he went to US, but he can still, he does, he still showed lots of uh, exemplary activities by cooking, writing, speaking, traveling. So it's not that a devotee will not work or will not have to work. He will work, but all his work results are surrendered to Krishna. Okay, so the difference is that uh, for material people who are acting on the material consciousness, the senses are engaged in our own sense gratification. Okay, to satisfy us. However, for those who are acting on Krishna conscious platform, their senses are engaged in the satisfaction of krishna senses so that's the difference okay so before this in 5.7 krishna says one who works in devotion who is a pure soul and who controls his mind and senses is dear to everyone and everyone is dear to him though always working such a man is never entangled okay so we move on so which shows that devotee is always acting okay so this is uh, how to perform okay here okay let me go back here okay here the answer you, you, we are receiving answers why um nishma nishkama karma yoga is easier than renouncing work which means working with the 
uh, we detached detached from the results is easier than renouncing altogether okay so these two slokas and then this bhagavatam sloka okay and uh, uh, this is an explanation example okay merely renouncing all activities but not engaging in the devotion service is not sufficient okay so that's the choice between which one is better both are good but which one is better so that's that first three slokas now here Prabhupada is showing us how to perform nishkama karma yoga uh krishna is telling us how to do this how to achieve this platform that means you do but the result you are surrendered to krishna so that's why it's karma yoga in krishna consciousness this is the uh, title of this chapter and then we continue this uh, this uh, area of this chapter we continue so uh, we covered this also lotus water on lotus leaf okay anybody would like to recite because um pushpa mataji is not able to come amita mataji would you like to Brahmani Adaya Karmani Sangam Chakrotiya Lipya Tena Sapatena Atma Pasram Ivam Pasha One who performs his duty without attachment, surrendering the results unto the Supreme Lord, is unaffected by sinful action as the lotus leaf is untouched by water. Thank you, Mataji. Sorry, I forgot Madhu <laughs> again. Okay, so we are still continuing here. Yeah? How? How perform duty without attachment and then surrender the result to Supreme Lord. By doing that, he is unaffected by sinful action. Like the lotus leaf is untouched by water. Okay, so even one's material body being a gift of the Lord for carrying out a particular type of action can be engaged in Krishna consciousness. It is then beyond contamination by sinful reactions, exactly as the lotus leaf, through, though remaining, remaining in water, is not wet. Okay? So we are doing our work, we are doing our duties. The difference that we can make, now we are shifting our consciousness to for our sense gratification, we are shifting our consciousness to as a sacrifice to Krishna. So we are shifting. That is the shift that is happening now. Okay. I hope you all remember the three types of karma in doing our activities. Karma, vikarma, akarma. Okay. Ingat dah? If you do for Krishna, it is akarma. Thank you, Mataji. If you do karma or karma, sorry, if you do karma or vikarma, then there is a beginning and end but if you do for krishna it is our karma that is there is no reaction okay work done for supreme lord has no reaction it's called our karma not at all affected by sinful reactions okay so basically if you don't do that don't do the our karma we will get karma or be karma okay so it's good that you also share this knowledge with people around you so like that we will remember okay 5.12 Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hare Krishna Mataji. Yukta karma Yukta karma karena hale shakto nibhadyate. The steadily devoted soul attains unadulterated peace because he offers the result of all activities to me, whereas a person who is not in union with the divine, who is greedy for the fruits of his labor, becomes entangled. Thank you, Mataji. So here we are seeing two results. Uh, uh, if, he, if he offers the result of all activities to Krishna, Two consequences. Okay. He is unaffected by sinful reactions. Okay. That's one. Number two is he attains peace. These are the two, uh, two effects of uh, doing. This is how, how to do Nishkama Karma Yoga, right? So these are the two effects. Okay. He doesn't become entangled. Whereas the person who does just the opposite, he becomes entangled. Okay. He attains peace. 
and uh, what else? He attains peace and he's not entangled. Okay, so you can see this photo here. This is a spiritual family, a devotee family. So we, we know this very famous line, family that prays together, stays together. So there'll be auspiciousness everywhere. Okay, they, you, should, you should care for their best physical, material well-being, health well-being, but you should also include the care for their spiritual well-being because you are caring for their body. You also care for their soul because that's the soul that's going to go on, going on and on and on. So when you do something for their soul's benefit, then there are permanent effects. So we have transmigrated for millions of lives. So we are tired, <laughs> okay? We... We want to escape from this chain. So what we can do is, as well as taking care of their physical, material, health, benefit, uh, well-being, we also take care of their soul as well. So family that prays together stays together. So uh, as opposed to that, a family who is engaged in material, too much of material engagements like this, they are going to get more and more entangled. Okay, like this, the phone has an invisible chain. So everybody, this is, this is not just phone, it's something like um, everybody doing their own thing. There is no connection. So they are more and more entangled in the activities that they are doing. So that's the significance of this photo. Become prisoners of our own activities when it's not dovetailed in Krishna conscious activities. Okay. 5.18. Prema Papu Mataji, are you there? Thank you. Okay, Vidya Vinaya Sampane Brahmane Gavastini Suni Chaiva Shwapakecha Pandita Samadarshinaha. The humble sages, by virtue of true knowledge, see with equal vision a learned and a gentle Brahmana, a cow, an elephant a dog and a dog eater outcast thank you mataji okay so we have arrived at the next section this is how by uh, focusing on the super soul we are to achieve liberation so the key point here to achieve liberation is the equanimity okay being equal to everyone because krishna as a super soul Okay, remember, there are three aspects of the Lord, Brahman, remember, the light of the train, and then Paramatma, the engine of the train, and Bhagavan, the driver of the train. So, as Brahman, he pervades the universe, like, is Jyoti, we covered this in, uh, in chapter 4. And then, as Paramatma, he, pre he is present in everybody's heart as super soul. Okay, remember the two birds in a tree, one is spirit soul, one is super soul. We are the spirit soul. So next to our spirit soul, there is Krishna standing there as Paramatma, witnessing whatever we are doing. So because Krishna equally disposed to everybody, we are also to view everybody equally. Okay, so what happens when we have that kind of uh, uh, vision towards everybody? 5.19. Uh, anybody remembers? Because my phone keeps turning off. Okay. Uh, nobody? Anybody would like to come in? Kajai Mataji, miss your voice. You can chant again. Okay, Mataji, I tried. <laughs> okay. Bhagavad Gita 5.19. Ihei vatair chitta sarko Yesam sam yestitam manaha Nirto sham hi samam brahma Tashmat brahmani state Brahmani stitaha Those whose minds are established in sameness and equanimity have already conquered the conditions of birth and death. That of they are flawless like Brahman and thus they are already situated in Brahman. Okay, thank you, Mataji. So you see, sameness and equanimity. So now I'm tying to this, okay? So how, what kind of uh, equal vision that you we must have for everybody? Like this person, he's, he's the self-realized soul here in this uh, photo. 
and he's um, he views a brahmana and a person who is an outcast you know the uh they call a dog eater an outcast but he does not uh, distinguish them based on the social point of view and he also doesn't distinguish uh, a dog a cow a elephant uh in a in a point of view of species okay but this difference i mean he's aware that these differences of body are meaningless these are very uh, it's the bodily identification from the viewpoint of a learned transcendentalist okay this is because of the relationship to the supreme the supreme lord um appears his plan as so he has his plenary portion as paramatma he's present in everyone's heart like i mentioned so such an understanding of the supreme is the real knowledge okay so the lord is kind to everybody equally so same goes to us so when we do that we also on the brahman platform we are already situated in brahma this is brahman realization seeing everybody as equal as equal as the spirit soul okay why why the devo a person who is a krishna conscious why he is seeing everybody equal yes that's an unfortunate situation tamare mata ji so from now on we will take a vow that we will see everybody equally okay we are marching towards the liberation so at least we can make change in our own lives right so even if the the important pillars are crumbling around us the pillars of the world crumbling around us uh, so we cannot be despondent that oh so sad the situation we are in but what we can do is we can re establish the pillars in our lives okay and people who are around us so like this i'm sharing with you you can share with others educate our children and the ch children when they grow up they grow up with such a a uh, good equanimity uh, mentality so that will be very good for the mankind how they will benefit from bhagavad gita so bhagavad gita has everything okay you can learn moral values also from here use the bhagavad gita to teach moral values to the children right so i'm i'm doing that also i'm telling the children okay this is krishna this is what krishna say you should go and tell your friend you should not tell your friend oh okay see this person differently see this person differently so like that very pretty very simple okay so like this we are the teachers for the children so the teaching starts at home okay so yeah so why the devotee sees everyone equal because it is a quality of krishna okay later i show you how krishna is equal to everybody therefore we also want to be like that okay uh so we become flawless okay we are flawless in that way okay so here there is one example um mm, of this past time here how lord krishna is impartial to everyone so anybody knows who is this is this is a demon anybody knows what's the name of this demon it's a lady demon demoness putana yes wow oh, tamil mata jana bad <laughs> okay yes that's putana so putana so for this to tell this story i have to bring you you know i have to show this little bit of flashback of what happened in vamana avatar so lord lord vishnu will come to lord ba uh, sorry demon king bali um that's a big past time but i'll just try to make it short so when uh, lord vamana comes and he takes uh, all the lower land higher land and finally he will ask i ask for three steps of land you need to give me the third land and bali will give his head i mean he has to surrender everything but actually that's not the only thing the the whole process how it took place um made bali's sister ratna mala angry so when vamana dev came in the beginning of that story she became very uh, she adored vamana oh such a sweet child he's so nice i wish i could uh, give him my milk so that's the kind of desire that she had when she saw the lord appeared as lord vamana i mean he, she doesn't know that that's a lord but uh, that's what the motherly feeling that she had for vamana dev but later when the whole situation unfolded in such a way that bali has to surrender everything and the treatment the bali uh, received she became so angry she became so angry how, how dare you do this to my okay there's so many versions of story some say that is bali's wife some say he is the dot she is the daughter some say she is the sister so in whatever it is whatever relationship she is but she is some the point is she is someone close to maharaj bali so at the end she felt 
how could this uh, small child does do this to my uh, whoever bali maharaj i wish i could kill him with my poison milk like that i wish i could kill him with poison milk so one she wished to feed krishna uh, to feed the lord to be the mother and uh, immediately she turned to poison to that kind of situation so what happens yeah here yeah. so she wanted krishna as son and later how krishna awarded the position of the mother and later how putana wanted to kill and she was killed so putana will come visiting baby krishna when he was newly born kamsa will send putana to kill all the babies in uh, in in uh, gokul okay so she will go and she will pretend to feed krishna so she smeared uh, poison on her breast and she will start feeding krishna of course krishna being krishna he knows who is putana along with the poison he also sucked the life of putana okay so in this krishna killed two birds in a stone he fulfilled the desire of ratnamala for be to become his mother and he also fulfilled her desire to kill him with poison so like that krishna said in 9.29 he is uh, he is equal to all samoham samoham sarva bhuteshu i envy no one no i am partial to anyone i am equal to all okay so he treated putana as a mother okay uh, a spin off from here is i would like to share a little bit new information about mothers so there are seven mothers mentioned in our scriptures we have first is our own mother okay if this for the benefit of those who don't know we have seven mothers the scripture says we have seven mothers our own mother number 2 is cow number 3 is king's wife number 4 wife of brahmana number 5 mother earth uh number 6 is nurse and number 7 is guru's wife okay i hope that's correct okay so these are the seven mothers are listed by chanakya pandit okay so this uh, some additional information for you seven mothers Okay, five point twenty two. Oh, I got sorry. Nine point twenty nine. Saras Mataji, could you please recite for us? I forgot. Hare <laughs> Krishna Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Okay, Gita verse nine point two nine. Samoham sarva bhutesu. Samoham sarva bhutesu. Samoham sarva bhutesu. Nami deyo tsi na priya. ये बजंती तु मम भक्त्या माहि ते ते शुचा प्रियहम यू यू राइट द ट्रांसलेशन एनीवे आई नो आई डू फिनिश इन माताजी सो यू कैन जस्ट डू इट ओके आई एंड वी नो वन नो एम आई पार्शियल टू एनी वन आई एम इक्वल टू ऑल बट व्होएवर रेंडर्स सर्विस ऑन टू मी इन डिवोशन इज अ फ्रेंड इज इन मी एंड आई एम आल्सो अ फ्रेंड टू हिम Yes, thank you, Madhuri. So this is a very good verse to say, "Oh, Krishna, why you are you are testing me so much?" No, it's not that Krishna is equal to everybody. Okay, but whoever renders service unto me in devotion is a friend, is in me, and I'm also a friend to him. Okay, just like parents, right? We are equal, equally disposed to all our children. Okay, because he is the creator. How can he be partial to people, right? Twenty-two, Shobha Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji. Yehi samsparsa ya hoga dukhaya yonaya yonaya ye ye vate adhyanta vanta adhyanta vanta kaunte ya. ट्रांसलेट an intelligent person does not take part in the source of misery because it is uh, temporary okay 
such pleasures have beginning and end. So that's why it's temporary. Okay, so we I expand the picture here. So you can see here what happens when somebody engages in uh, in the attraction, sense attractions. So if you can see, this is um, is these are moth, moth. So they they fly to um, fire for brightness. So what happens? The fire burn them. Okay, so that's the effect of uh, straightforward attraction. Okay, so they are killed, and um, so here the story of a bee. A bee will look for honey, isn't it? So here it's it's depicted that is going to the lotus, but in the evening the lotus closes, so the bee is trapped inside. So it's fallen to the temptation. Next is the hunter and the deer. So apparently a deer is attracted to particular type of sound made by horns. So that's how, that's how the hunter can attract deer and hunt them. And then here we have this elephant fallen into a trap. So what they do is they will use female elephant to attract an elephant, a male elephant. So it is trapped in here. And then of course fish, it will uh, be kept, it will, it will fall to his death because of the uh, its desire to taste the bait on a hook. So, so like this, these are all helpless creatures. Okay, so thus one who desires to learn detachment, what if you want to be detached from material illusion, we should, um, we should take lessons from these helpless creatures as guru. This is why it's mentioned in Bhagavatam. We have to accept these five helpless creatures as guru and learn the needful. Okay, so how do we engage our senses? Come, instead of this, how do we engage? What do we do with our eyes? We, hold on. Uh, okay. So with our eyes, we can see the deities. With our tongue, we can taste prashadam. With our ears, whatever we are doing now, hearing of hearing about Krishna, so that's good engagement of the senses. Sniffing, smelling uh, flowers offered to Krishna, okay, and engaging our senses in uh, decorating the deities. So, um, an example, an epitome or exemplary personification pers personality who did all of this and more is King Ambarish. He engaged his eyes, legs, hands, mind, money, everything. He was a king. So he's an exemplary here. Okay, this is the story of the chakra. Okay, I narrated this, not sure in level one, I think. Okay, five, we'll move on. 5.26, Tamare Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Bhagavad Gita 5.26. Kama Kurta Vikmuktana Yatinam Yate Shetasam Abitu Brahma Nirvanam Vatate Vidite Vidi Tatnam. Those who are free from anger and material desire who are self-realized, self-disciplined, and constantly enduring for perfections are ensured of liberation and supreme in, in the very near future. Yes, thank you, Mataji. Just give me a second. Okay. All right, so what Krishna is saying here, Krishna is mentioning, Krishna is indicating it Actually, we need to know that there is nothing called desireless. We cannot be desireless, desire-free. We cannot do that practically, theoretically also cannot. Okay, because all the time we want to do something, right? What we can do is we can free our mind from material desires, channel it to spiritual desires. That we can do. That is practical. Okay, how? Self-discipline constantly endeavoring for perfection and we are still in the area of how to attain liberation right so these are the ones 
first we saw how equal vision, equanimity, sameness, okay? And then here, engaging our senses in the right way. And then uh, being free from material desires, not desireless. So we, are, we should be free from anger and all material desires. Those who are self-realized, they engage, uh, they constantly endeavor for perfection with self-discipline. Okay, that way we are assured of liberation in near future. So a Krishna conscious person enjoys unlimited pleasure within himself by fixing his consciousness on Krishna. Okay, how is this happen? Okay, even though a devotee in who is in Krishna conscious, although he's very far from the Lord, there are ways he can elevate himself to that abode. Okay, so here I would like to bring in this um, Vishnu Sahasra Nama Stotram number 48. You know what is this, right? Vishnu Sahasra Nama Stotram. Anybody not aware of this Vishnu Sahasra Nama Stotram? This is a chain of, Stotram means garland, right? It's a garland of a thousand, thousand names. Sahasra Nama means thousand names. Yeah? thousand names of Lord Vishnu. So you can translate garland of Lord's thousand names, something like that, right? So we are, this is sloka number 48. In this number 48, there are, let me see here, this has 10 names. Yajna is one name, uh, Ijaya is one name, Mahaja is one name, Kratu is one name, Satram, Satam Gati, Sarva Darshi, Vimuktatma, Sarvajna, uh, Jnanam Uttamam. So you have 10 names in this sloka alone. So like this, there are so many, so I don't know how many slokas are there, but if you total up all that, you'll have 1000 names of Vishnu Sahasrana. Vishnu's 1000 names. Okay, so here I would like to uh, zoom into this one, Sarva Darshi. The meaning of Sarva Darshi is uh, he sees everything and he especially notices the activities of his devotee. Hmm. Okay. Another translation is one who by his inborn sight is able to see all good and evil actions of living beings. Whew. How? Okay. Let me bring you to this example. So this is a verse from Patma Purana. Okay, in Padma Purana, Darshana Dhyana Samparsar Matsya Kurma Vihangamaha Swanya Patyani Pushnanti Tataham Api Padmaja. Okay, Matsya means fish, Kurma means tortoise. Okay, now this verse speaks about how three animals bring up their offspring. Three different ways. The fish bring up their offspring by just seeing. Okay. So I managed to find out that it is scientifically proven that there are documentaries showing that fish will come, will lay eggs and go and then come and you look at the eggs and then it will go and then it will come again. You look at the eggs and it will go. So like this, it, this is, it's the fish's way to bring up the offspring. Okay. Thoughties. You know, tortoise, they come to the land, they lay eggs, and then they go back to the sea, and they do not come back. And how they actually bring up their offspring is, it is mentioned in the sastras that they meditate on the children. So that's how it brings up the offspring. Okay, the tortoise lay eggs on the land, and then it meditates on the eggs while it's in the water. Okay, interesting, isn't it? This is mentioned in the sastras. Huh? Finally, bird. Okay, obviously, it, it, we have seen bird, how they take care of the offspring. They come, they feed, they touch. So the bird brings up the offspring simply by its touch. So Krishna says, that is how I do also. So Krishna says, he maintains everything like these animals, how they bring up their offspring. From afar, Krishna is maintaining everything. How, about, how do we apply this in our life? Okay, we also can uh, can engage in Krishna consciousness in various ways like this. Although we are so far away from the Lord's abode, 
how do we elevate ourselves to that abode? So how do we do this? We can simply by, we can do that simply by thinking uh, about him and engaging in the activities. How? How does a devotee do? Can anybody give a guess? How do we do this? How we do, how do we engage in the vision, meditation, touch, anything, anything at all you all can think of. Actually, we covered few of this in the beginning, so you can actually relate it. How can we engage this, these uh, three aspects in our activity? Can you can put in the chat or you can tell? We need to, this is all how, how to achieve liberation. Anybody, Matajis, try? Okay, so how do we particularly relate to, to these three aspects? Vision, meditation, touch. Religious classes, yes, Mataji. Hearing, just give me one second. Think about it, Mataji. Just give me one second. I need to touch. Okay, uh, related directly to Krishna. Okay, let me reveal the answers now. Listening, chanting, doing a flower garland, serving water in the name of Krishna. Okay, Mataji. Okay, let me reveal that now. Engaging our vision means by looking at the deity of Krishna. Okay. Uh, and then meditation, how? Engaging our meditative ability is by meditating upon Krishna. So the, the meditation that we are doing now is mantra meditation. When we chant, we are meditating on the mantra because it's very, very impossible even for Arjuna in, 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 in Dhyana Yoga, Arjuna will say, how am I supposed to do this, Krishna? The mind is so turbulent. I can even control the wind, but I cannot control my mind. Even Arjuna will declare that. Then Krishna will say, it's possible by constant practice and detachment. So for those who want practical activity, practical uh, way of engaging, meditating on Krishna is the japa. The japa, you just meditate on the mantra, meditate on the vibration. So that is meditating upon Krishna. And then by touching, remember this one? Here, can you see this picture? They are engaging their sense of touch in serving Krishna. Decorating, dressing, so that's that, okay? So by doing devotion service, we can do anything and everything using our limbs. So this is how we engage. Darshana, Dhyana, Samparse. Darshana, Dhyana, Samparse. Okay, this is how we engage. Okay. We come to the last slide. Uh, Wai Mataji. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Hi, Krishna. Hi, Krishna. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Clear. Okay, very good. All right, I'll try. Um, so uh, what I'll be reading is the Shloka for Bhagavad Gita. Chapter 5, verse 29. Bhoktaram yagna tapasam suridam sarva bhutanam yatvamam santim rachati. Translation A person in full consciousness of me knowing me to be the ultimate beneficiary of all sacrifices and austerities, the supreme lord of all planets and demigods, and the benefactor and well-wishers of all living entities, attains peace from the pangs of material miseries. Thank you, Mataji. That's nice. Thank you. <laughs> all right. So this is, this is our last area of the chapter. Peace. This is called peace. How to attain peace on the platform of liberation. This is called universal peace formula. Okay. So how do we do this? By remembering Krishna as the beneficiary. 
and remember him as, as the benefactor. Okay? Benefactor means one who gives, provides, right? Gives money or other help to a person or cause, right? I think somebody's mic. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. So when we remember Krishna in these two ways, then we attain peace from the pangs of material miseries. Okay. So this is actually revision sloka also from level one. Okay. Um, okay. This is a very nice example. Very easy and nice example to remember. You are so confused with lots of terms and jargons and technicalities. So it's very easy to remember. Karma. Karma means um, means uh, activities, right? Karma kanda means uh, Krishna say if you fight Arjuna, it's either you win and you will enjoy your earthly kingdom. If you die in the battlefield, you're going to enjoy heavenly kingdom. So either way, you have your enjoyment. That is karma kanda. Okay, so what is this actually? Exam in example, you have potatoes, and you want to eat it, you take it, peel it, cut it, fry it, eat it. Okay, you eat. But remember, the potatoes is coming from plant, and we are killing the plant. There is karmic reaction on it to it. Okay, so how do we escape that? You can do the karma yoga. You want to eat the potatoes, you take it, you peel it, you cut it, you fry it, you offer it to Krishna. Remember. Two ways to do karma yoga detaching from the result or offering the result to krishna so this way you are released by uh, released from the bondage and then if you eat it then you are released from your bondage okay you can follow yeah finally krishna remember arjuna asked which one is better the renunciation or work with detachment okay then krishna says this is better devotion is better why how how do you do that you want to please krishna you want to do something for krishna remember there's two kind of activities for material enjoyments and spiritual enjoyment for mat material enjoyment means we are doing something to satisfy our senses. Uh, spiritual activities means you are doing something to satisfy Krishna's senses. So you meditate, you want to please Krishna and then you want to offer him potato and you got potatoes. You take it, you peel it, cut it, fry it, offer it to Krishna and you eat it. So this is Bhakti Yoga. This is devotion. Okay. Both are good. Remember, Krishna said both are good, but this is better. Okay, this is the straight ticket to perfection for liberation. Okay, this one is like taking the ladder, taking the escalator. Okay, that's the explanation. So what happened here? The potato, the potato hasn't changed. Your cooking hasn't, your cooking has not changed. Your eating activity is not changed. So what is the difference between these three? So Alan Chapumas. Who can answer this? <laughs> what has happened here? Here, you want to enjoy the potato, you cut it, you fry it, you eat it. Here, you want to, oh no, Mataji said, if I eat it from in the, in the intention of satisfying my senses, then I'll be bonded to the reactions. So I'm just going to cut it, fry, and I'm going to offer it to Krishna. So in that way, I already detached from the result. So I'm free from the bondage. So what happens here? And then later, you say, okay, I want to do what, is, what will make Krishna happy. I think Krishna will like this. So I want to do this for him. And then I will take the remnants. So how have you changed from this step to this step and this step? What has changed, Matajis? Matajis. Okay, intention, intention. Okay, that that is that's one word. It starts with C. <laughs> yes, Gandhi Mataji, Shabas, fantastic Mataji. The consciousness has changed. Okay. All right, thank you, Mataji, for the answers. All are correct, actually. Okay, so recap, quick recap. Okay, this first area, remember, Arjuna asked, renunciation or devotion? Then Krishna said, both are good, but devotion is better. 
So anybody remembers what we covered here? How to perform Nishkama Karma Yoga? Okay, work with devotion, control his mind and senses. Material senses are engaged, but he is aloof. Remember, there's Prabhupada photo there. You are doing your work, but uh, you are you are not attached to that result. You are aloof. You know that the activities is because the the senses is engaging with the objects like that okay work without attachment remember the lotus feet we have to do work without attachment like what on lotus feet and then of course we offer the results to krishna and then liberation focusing on the super soul what can you remember by seeing this word super soul anything that you can remember when i say this super soul sameness yes very good mataji seeing everyone with equal vision and such person is flawless like Brahman and eligible for liberation. How about the last one? What is the two keywords that we just covered? How to attain peace? What is the peace formula? Peace formula. Knowing Krishna as what and what. Matajis, anyone? As what and what? Remember the word pri proprietor? Nobody? Starts with B. Okay. And, and the, the other two words, Mataji? Five point two nine. Can open Bhagavad Gita. You all have Bhagavad Gita, you can just open, no problem. Yeah, there's a one word there, Mataji. Why, Mataji? You are right. One one word there. Yes. Correct. Okay, thank you, Mataji. Knowing Krishna as the beneficiary. Yes, yes, Tamar Mataji. And benefactor. So such person attains peace from, okay, not former, from the pangs of material miseries. So with that, we have ended our chapter five. Thank you so much, Matajis. Actually, I thought chapter five would be pretty short, so I could want. I wanted to give you all a surprise uh, cut, uh, story of Matsya Avatar, but we have only nine minutes. So what we can do now is we can go on to do one round chanting together, okay? And then we can end at nine o'clock. So I hope I can bring in the Matsya Avatar um, next week. Okay, because we took some time this way, we have to recap. So yeah, in the time. and of course my computer, I don't know what's wrong. I need to get that sorted out. So everybody can unmute. You can reduce the volume so you can hear your chanting. Okay, can we do that, Matajis? Okay, can I? We start with Jai Sri Krishna, okay? If everybody's ready, we can. Thank you, Tamari Mataji. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nishananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shiva Sadi Gaura Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Krishna Hare Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram 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 Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare Hare Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Hare Ram Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Hare Krishna Hare 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 Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Ram 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna 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 Hare 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 H